Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the novel At Water's Edge by Sarah Gruen. See it there? Kind of. Yeah, okay. Um, so I always like to let people know that I actually listened to this rather than read it because I think that does affect the reading experience a little bit. So just to tell you a little bit about it, um, At Water's Edge is starts out in America uh, in 1945 or very near thereabout. And it features three young people who are pretty snobby, pretty rich, and, you know, not the most likable of characters. And that can turn some people off right away. I don't mind not having likable characters. Um, some of my characters aren't that likable to the start because that allows us to see the growth and the progression, uh, hopefully, of those characters throughout the book. And I did find that was true in this book of the main female protagonist, who is Maddie. And so... Um, we start in America, and then I won't give much, no more than the blurb, but the story travels to Scotland where Maddie's husband is trying to find the Loch Ness Monster. Now you may be thinking, why isn't he at war if it's 1945? Well, he had a reason for why he couldn't be there, um, and so he's using this journey to kind of prove himself to his father and also maybe to society at large to prove that he is actually a worthy man. So it's a kind of interesting premise, kind of, you know, on one side you could think it's a little ridiculous, on the other side you could think, oh, well, you know, everyone wants to prove themselves, everyone wants to, to feel worthy. So as the story progresses, it's a really interesting mix. Um, the landscape in Scotland, just the feel, the emotion, I thought was really one, well done by uh, Gruen. It, uh, it really brought me to the place, it made me feel... I feel, I guess, like I, I understood more of what life would have been like at that time and in that area. And there's also a roughness uh, that she creates to the local people, the local landscape, that's really appealing and really drew me in. Um, so as the story continues, I won't go into too much again, but I will let you know that there's a lot of development of character, which is something that I always love in a book. Um, we see Maddie really transform and the things that she goes through, the experiences, they test her. They teach her what type of a person she really is and who she wants to be, what she wants out of life, and what she won't accept. There's also a really clear and interesting separation between the social classes, and I appreciate the way that Gruen goes through that and lays it out. There's issues of drug addiction, of mental illness, and something I really appreciated was the slow build of friendship and how even when we have preconceived notions about people, if we take the time to kind of step back from that and see the person for who they are rather than who we think they are, or who they originally presented themselves to be, we can find so much more. Um, there was also a romantic thread, I guess, through the story that I found a little bit weak, but you know, it wasn't awful. And again, the fantastical aspects, there was some mystery, there was some folklore, which of course you could expect when you're going to search the Loch Ness Monster that um, surprised me because I didn't expect it, but I did enjoy it and I thought that it was well done. So again, this is At the Water's Edge by Sarah Gruen. And yeah, it was an interesting book. I wouldn't say it was like one of my favorites or anything like that, but I definitely enjoyed it. And if anything that I've mentioned or talked about appeals to you, I would say it's definitely worth the read. So if you want to head over to my website, charlinecar.com, you can find a little bit more about the book, link somewhere you can get it, the author's website, and if you're interested, for those who may not know, I'm a novelist myself. I write women's fiction, and the first two books in my women's fiction series, the A New Start series, you can get for free for signing up for my mailing list. So you can check it out, and you know, if you love it and you want to keep hearing from me, stay on that list. If you don't, unsubscribe. Easy as can be. All right. And, oh, one more thing. If you like at, wa the, at the Water's Edge, I keep on leaving out the the. I would love for you to leave a comment, let me know what you think, and maybe we can get a little, little discussion going. Have a great day.